Hey guys, Mark here. Well, welcome along today to a review on a 2021 Benelli Imperial 400. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay then guys, let's have a look around this lovely Benelli. Just running through the specifications in the usual fashion. So price on these, they're coming in at £3,699 plus on the road, which is very reasonable. Uh, these are A2 license compatible, and this is the Euro 5 model. Engine on this is a 380cc single cylinder four stroke single overhead camshaft on this producing a very modest 20.4 horsepower at five and a half thousand rpm and lots of good low strong torque on this it's got 28 newton meters at a very low 3500 rpm nice low seat height on these as well so good if you're a beginner nice and narrow at the front very comfortable seat and it's um it's it's sprung as well as shock absorbers so it's a very very comfortable ride have a look at me on the bike I'm 5 foot 7 tall, 30 inch inside leg and I weigh about 75 kilos. Just have a look how it fits me. I can get my feet down quite well. Two hundred and five kilograms weight on these, wet, so not too heavy. It's got a twelve litre fuel tank, and these are very, very economical. You should get at least eighty to a gallon from these UK, so giving you a range of about two hundred miles. Wheels and tyres on these, you've got a nineteen inch front wheel with a 100 section tyre and these are Maxi's tyres and on the back we've got a 130 section tyre on an 18 inch wheel five speed gearbox on these very easy smooth shifting top speed of this around about 75 I would say 6,000 mile service interval on these, which equates to about 3,700 miles, and these are pretty cheap to service, I would say. These come with a two year warranty and are available in black, silver, or red. There you go, guys. Let's do the test ride. Okay, Benelli Imperial 400. Let's do this. I've been really looking forward to ride one of these for some time and it's finally happened today. So, all good. So, quite light off the side stand. It's around about 200 kilos wet. Nice, decent side stand. I like that. We'll try the centre stand out later on. So, on the bike, I say, look at the cutscene of me on the bike. I'm not that tall. I'm five foot seven. I can easily get my feet flat to the floor with knees slightly bent. So, this would be a great bike if you were a beginner, just to inspire confidence, really. A2 licence. So um, just run through the switch gear. Um, it's this usual sort of switch gear that we're so used to seeing these days on these Chinese bikes. You've got the flasher there, high and low beam, indicators, horn, kill switch, hazards and start. So that's all nice and simple. No electronics on this, no riding modes, no fancy electronic suspension. All very, very basic stuff. Um, nice light cable operated clutch and we have a span adjustable front brake lever. 
So lovely traditional looking dash. You've got your speedo, analog, um, kilometers on the outside, miles an hour on the inside. Um, you've got your clock, uh, odometer and your trips. Fuel gauge, gear indicator which is nice and your revs and all your warning lights down the bottom there. So starter up. Ah, oh, lovely. So you're instantly greeted with that lovely, charming, single cylinder thump. I say these bikes have a real charm to them. Uh, they're getting really popular now, these sort of bikes. Okay, let's do it. So nicely into first. Very light, easy clutch. Oh, straight away, this is really nice. So smooth for a single. So lots of torque from low RPM with this. So it's a very, very lazy engine. It may not be powerful, but it gets up to speed reasonably quickly without even revving it. So the sweet spot on this engine is kind of between three and 5,000, I would say. You don't need to rev it. Just keep it between three and five. So straight away, we're up to sort of an indicated sort of 60-ish. Fifth gear, five gears on this. Very, very smooth. Wow, you know, for quite a big single, I can't feel any vibrations whatsoever. Uh, we will take it um, on the dual carriageway later at higher revs and see what it's like for the vibrations there. So let's run through the bike. The mirrors are very, very clear. There's no vibrations there. I take the revs up a bit to see if we can get them to vibrate. A little bit of vibration there, but all in all, a very clear view of the road behind and about 40% view of the road behind with my elbows, but all in all, very good. I do love the traditional looking clocks. Very, very clear, easy to read. Speedo and revs and gear. That's easy to see. Suspension on this is pretty basic, non-adjustable front forks, preload adjustable rear shocks, all feels very compliant, very, very comfortable ride. The seat is exceptionally comfortable. You can really feel the sort of springs in it as well. Back brake feels good. I'll try the front out later. So we're down to third gear now, just winding it open out of these corners. Yeah, it pulls very cleanly. It's not powerful, but it's um, it does the job. You know, this sort of bike and the uh, Royal Enfield um, Meteor, they're just about going through the countryside, not a care in the world, just cruising along. That's what these bikes are all about. Forget speed, forget power. It's just about simple, back to basics motorcycling, nice and reliable, cheap to buy, cheap to, bu cheap to run, cheap to service. Excellent. So give it some power now, first gear into second, full throttle, 30, 40, into third, so there's your indicated 50, into fourth gear, it's still pulling quite strongly up this hill, but it's really nice because it just, um, it's not having to rev high, that's the beauty of quite a big engine, it's very relaxing. So into fifth now, indicated 60, and we're doing just about four and a half thousand revs. So as I said, if you're looking for a bike just to do some relaxing cruising on, which is very wallet friendly, uh, definitely have a look at one of these. I cannot get over how smooth this is. It's pretty much as smooth as the uh, Royal Enfield Meteor that I reviewed recently. Right, nothing behind, we just try the front brakes. Full front brake down to a near enough stop so yeah not bad not amazing it's only a single disc on the front but totally in keeping with this style of bike does the job shall we say the bike itself feels very light once you're moving you wouldn't think it's 200 kilos in the riding position it's totally upright lovely riding position it uh, reminds me a little bit of the uh, Interceptor 650, if you've ridden one of those. 
very nice leg position as well sort of straight down not forwards not backwards tons of leg room so if you were a taller rider say six footish you'd be absolutely fine with this going down the gearbox very light clutch very nice gear change it's quite quite a bit of travel on the gears but all in all it works very nicely fourth gear winding it open 4,000 revs 5,000 into fifth and it's got more to go so I think if you needed to do a bit of a distance on this just cruising along you could comfortably do two hours in the saddle on this uh, it's exceptionally comfortable and there's just no vibrations that's the imp impressive thing you can definitely tell it's um you know a, quite a big single thumping beneath you got that lovely sound but there's absolutely zero vibrations that i can feel through the uh the bars the seat or the foot pegs so no riding modes on this or different throttle maps or anything like that it's a very very gentle throttle not not snatchy in the slightest down to first all very easy lovely feeding the clutch like we're into a town situation now so we'll just check the all important fueling some of these euro 5 bikes can be made a little bit lean at low rpms and they can hunt and surge a bit so we're third gear at the moment just checking the fueling and pleased to report that is perfect that's sweet as a nut just like a sewing machine no sort of hunting in this in the fueling no surging no snatchy throttle the throttle is actually very 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 gentle almost like a, a rain mode if uh, if you're on a bike with riding mode so very gentle throttle it's not going to catch you out in the slightest if you're a, a newcomer you can just feel that lovely lovely thump from that big engine let's see if it will take fourth gear at 30 yeah it's still very smooth it's not snatchy put it down to third yeah that is peachy smooth that is very impressive so if you had to use this as a ride to work bike guys uh, you've got impressive fuel economy economy on this should do at least 80 to a gallon because it's not a high revving engine so it should just sip fuel this would make an excellent commuter i would say it's comfortable got good visibility very nice handling very good right we're just going to come out of town now a bit more open road currently in third gear beautiful charming characterful engine so we're just winding it open now coming out of town wide open throttle into fourth now quite an easy 60 miles an hour indicated do bear in mind these uh, speedos do overread a bit into fifth pulling quite nicely up this hill in top gear just indicating over 60 just over 4,000 revs again no vibrations first class riding very smooth okay so we're gonna just come onto a dual carriageway now to see what the uh, Benelli Imperial is like at higher cruising speeds so third gear at the moment into fourth pulling strongly indicating indicating 65 at the moment into top gear now five and a half thousand revs at the moment We're indicating around about 70 miles an hour at the moment and that is very relaxing it's just over 5,000 rpm feels very stable yeah that's good a little, little bit of an incline here up this dual carriageway and it's holding that very well vibrations again non-existent so that's excellent so if you were uh, needed to do a bit of higher speed work guys longer longer distance 
the Benelli is absolutely fine. It's cruising along quite happily here. Doesn't feel too stressed at these higher revs. Wind blast totally acceptable, even though it's a naked bike with no fairing. Just a nice steady, steady wind blast at the moment, so that's excellent. So we're just winding it open a bit. Yeah, it's even got a little bit of overtaking power in top gear, look. Very good. So all in all guys, the Benelli's fine at dual carriage rate, slightly higher speed work. Quite relaxing at this speed now, look. Very nice. Okay guys, catch you in a bit. Well, right, just try that back brake out. So yeah, that's good. Nice bit of bike there. Yeah, the overall handling, even though it's basic suspension, feels very good. It's giving me a very, very comfortable ride over these bumps at the moment. Excellent. Right, we'll just try that front brake out again. Just front brakes only. Full front brake. There we go, slowing down, and there's your standstill. So that's full front brakes. Right, second gear wide open. 5,000 into third. It just doesn't feel stressed. It's so such an easy, relaxing engine. Lovely. Yeah, so it's basically, guys, this type of bike, guys, it's all about doing what I'm doing now. 55 mile an hour, plodding along, just enjoying it. I must get myself one of these one day, this style of bike. This is really nice. Alright, we'll just wind it open a little bit. See what it's like around these bends up here. So service intervals on these 6,000 kilometres or just under 4,000 miles. Very simple, cheap servicing on these. Yep, yeah, feels good around there. Tyres feel grippy. I do just love that dash. It's just really a joy looking at that with those needles in a world of LCD dashes these days. Slow it down a bit. There's a bit of a big bump down here. Here we go. Cool. Yep. Not bad considering it's got twin shock suspension. A little bit of a pogo effect there. But all in all, for this style of bike, absolutely fine. Fourth gear now, just opening up up the hill. Holding 60 very well up here. thousand revs yep it doesn't bog down at all up a hill so it pulls nicely up hills it's actually really quite good fun right let's uh, wrap it up here and have another look around shall we yeah back brake works very efficiently down the gearbox, very smooth. Nice easy gearbox, I like that. So we're just in first, see what it's like into neutral. Neutral, first. Neutral, that's good. All right, little sound test for you. Very nice. All right, I'll just let you see the indicators and the lights. So just basic um, indicates on these, no LEDs, standard halogen bulb. So that's your low beam. And that's your high beam. Let's give you a look at that dash again. 
Excellent. All right. Let's see what it's like to push around. If you had to do that in your garage, it is very easy indeed. It's quite light off the side stand. Just try the centre stand out. Oh, easy as anything. Very good. Lovely. Right, let's have a look round it again. So, super comfortable seat, which is sprung. Very, very comfortable ride. If you want a nice, relaxing bike, this is one to look for. Pre Preload adjustable rear shocks there. Decent side stand. Nice gearbox, very sort of relaxing to use. And no sort of like quick shifter on this. Quite a lot of travel there, but absolutely fine. Build quality and the welds look okay. Not incredible, but absolutely fine. Tank paintwork looks nice. All good. So nice, easy to use switch gear. Let's have a look at that front brake for you. There you go. So we've got a key for in there, in there there's the uh, the battery, so there's no sort of storage under that, it's just a battery. But yeah, I mean the engine looks lovely, you know, it actually looks a very nice thing to look at. Beautiful build quality there, all the castings look nice. Good old rear brake there, nice big pedal. So that is a Kappa top box, just for any pe anybody that's interested. And it's used a, a Kappa universal plate to mount it to the rack there. So, Kappa top box. There you go, guys. Benelli Imperial 400. Post your comments down below, please. Have you got one? How's it been? Has it been reliable? Very, very nice ride, that. For 3699, I think that's a bargain. If you want just to run around with classic looks, definitely try one of these out. You'll be pleasantly surprised, I think. All right, guys. Give me a like. Share and subscribe to my channel as always, and catch you again in a few days for another review. Alright guys, all the best, and bye bye for now.